welcome back to my vlog i'm sorry i didn't do a vlog last week but you know it's been such a stressful week i'm not gonna lie like a lot of things happened in my life that were not great one of the things happened was my kitchen broke so that was very stressful i've been like with builders in and out like plumbers and everything but that is solved so i'm very happy to have my kitchen back and you know other things happened in uh, different areas of my life that were not great but um you know it's been i think the most stressful two weeks that i've had like in six months but also there were like the ones that i felt more loved if that makes any sense like the amount of people checking up on me because they knew that like things kept like happening in my life and they were like oh my god are you okay like it made me realize how amazing my friends and family are like sometimes bad things need to happen in order for you to appreciate the good things yeah i'm back at filming and everything but it takes a lot um usually filming editing like uploading and like doing subtitles and all that um it, it is a lot of work and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do like every single week also because like some weeks i don't do anything like interesting but this weekend is very very nice i'm meeting some friends i'm uh, very excited about that and also i have a concert on saturday night of this band that i've been following for like 12 years now and I'm so excited to see them because I've never seen them live and I literally love their music so much. So I can't wait for that. I am going for a long walk because I need some air. I feel like it's been um, so sad to be home all the time, you know? But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna go for that amazing walk. Sorry for the state of my face and for the quality of the video. There is a reason for it. I got injured yesterday. I injured my lower back and it was one of the most painful experiences ever. So basically what happened was I was uh, training and there was a moment where I told my trainer, I just don't know what it is, but my back, it's like really like it feels weird he was like stop the exercise obviously the moment i arrived home my body gave up the pain that i was feeling i do not wish that to anyone my muscles were not responding i train a lot and i'm getting so strong and the fact that i couldn't lift my own body it was so worrying to me when i stood up that got even worse feeling like I was gonna collapse my blood pressure dropped and like everything was like giving up I was like if I fall right now or something happens no one will find out and that was even more scary I was like I need to call an ambulance I'm not even kidding the pain I thought I was being stabbed it was scary because it's your spine and like that's so scary and dangerous and I was like what if I do a wrong movement and like the worst happens you know and then i was like how am i gonna open the door for them i was like okay no happy thoughts it was a very scary and shitty situation but it happens and you know i am gonna learn from it because i now know my boundaries and my limits when it comes to exercise and you know i'm very sad because i'm gonna miss my concert and i had to cancel all my plans uh it's a couple of days later from the injury it's still very painful i can't really walk much or stand up for a long time i am listening to my body completely and just listening to its timing so one of my friends is coming over to help me a little bit today i do feel like i'm healing so that's good but yeah, guess I'll keep you updated. Oh, this is so nice. She brought some cakes and everything is better now that I have food. <laughs> <laughs> we made whoopee cakes. They're so nice. They have like this cream. It's like a sandwich and it's really nice. Hey. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm back in bed. My friend just left. She was really helpful. Like it was great to have 
some company and some distractions from all the pain. <laughs> I am feeling a bit better. It's less painful than before or I just got used to it. I don't know, but I do have a bit more mobility now. So uh, that's good. And yeah, I'm just back in my bed. I'm going to watch a K-drama and just go to sleep early. I know it's been like a bit boring to watch this vlog, but honestly, like, you know, the whole goal of this vlogging thing is to you know have some memories for my future self and i think um it's important to show like the ups and downs of everything so okay hi this is me two weeks later first of all sorry for the raw face um a lot has happened like really my life changed completely this past two weeks and had my back injury which i have recovered i'm trying to have a normal life i do have some restrictions with my movements but it's okay like i have been dealing with that and i'm moving i am move i just realized i have my lights there <laughs> sorry um but yeah i am moving i am moving out of this house it was so expected and unexpected at the same time because I thought I was gonna extend uh, my stay here and a couple of things happened that was like, girl, get the hell out of there, <laughs> honestly. I just can't explain how many problems I've had um, this past 12 months, I'm not even joking. Like Honestly, I've had so many problems here and I was trying to stay positive because I did know that obviously Houses in London, especially Victorian houses, are really old and they do come with problems because obviously like they can be like a hundred years old and you know that is normal and I did understand that so that's why I was like patient enough to like go through all this but the problems that I've had in this place are beyond normal and you know it's, it got to a point where I was just like I feel like this house is kicking me out and I was just like that's it like that's the sign I need um to leave interesting how life can tell you like girl you deserve so much better after that while I was recovering from a back injury I was also looking for a new place and I had so many viewings when I tell you the amount of places I was viewing I was trying to keep myself positive throughout all this viewings and all that but there was just not a place that I would say like this is it like I would picture myself living there I was getting so hopeless about this whole process and I was just like I was about to give up I did an offer to some places and they were rejecting me and I was just like oh my god this is it like I I'm just not gonna find anything and like it's just just like and then life savior Hannah, my real estate agent, called me and she was like, there's this place that I think is perfect for you. Why don't you take a look? I saw the pictures and I was just like, uh, I don't know. And she was like, why don't we go take a look? Everything can be negotiable. Thank God she insisted because the moment I walked into that flat, I fell in love with it. It was just incredibly beautiful. It was just... A place that I was just like oh my god I could totally see myself living there yeah so eventually I did put an offer and I got accepted I'm so ready to start in a new place and this showed up and like proved me that you know the perfect thing can show up and thank god I got accepted honestly I feel like I've manifested this place because not only it has everything I've always wanted but also is in a street that I was always walking by and I was just like, I wish I could ever lived here. And I saw that it was like literally impossible. When I got the address and I saw it was on that street, I was like, girl, the signals. I am extremely excited, but also very nostalgic because I had so many things happening to me, like so many good and bad news. So many people here, like spending time with me, like shared moments, so many people visiting and like, but, at the same time, I'm so ready to like change places and you know, have everything from scratch for new interior design plans. And you know, this is way more modern and I'm just extremely happy to be honest and I'm so ready for a change. Yeah, I am 
very excited and I am very positive this is a good new chapter. I am hosting a lot of people this year which I am very excited because this new place is way bigger. You know I have more space to have guests and all that which I love hosting. I hope um, my future self sees this video and knows that eventually the sun will shine. <sighs> Wish me luck on this new beginning and um, I'll guess I'll see you in the next video. I don't know what's life, what's going on? I just I just can't believe my life right now.